if employers can terminate you without any prior notice and without reason, then employees aren't obligated to give them any kind of notice of them quitting for any reason. Why should anyone give an employer two weeks to replace them when an employer can fire them and not give them two weeks notice to find another job? Some employers simply do not deserve it especially if they're very shitty people. I don't see what the issue is about not giving employers two weeks when they can literally snatch your living from underneath you without any regard to how you're going to pay bills, but oh yeah let's give the employer two weeks cause they need to hire someone else, no fuck them. Edit. This is in regards to the custom that you should give two weeks notice and employers ask you to do so. I understand you are not legally required to. You aren't required to give notice, unless you agree to that in a contract, but it can affect your ability to get a job in the future. Generally you want to give a notice to a place that you can fall back on. Are you obligated by law to do that? While that is true you should still give two weeks notice because it can help you get a job down the line. There's no sense burning bridges at your current employer, you may need a reference or something else in the future. You aren't required to give notice, though. I don't know if this post is just an American thing but I have four weeks either way. I give four notice weeks to leave and my employer gives me four weeks notice to get rid of me. The only exception to this is if you're grossly incompetent, which usually boils down to doing something illegal, which is to be fair on your own head. There isn't any legal reason you have to give four weeks if you want to be super technical, however as many others have said you probably don't want to burn that bridge, due to references or owed payment for work. While it's true an employer can terminate suddenly and without warning, in most states and employment situations, the employer will be on the hook for paying more unemployment tax, which goes up substantially for every sudden termination. You technically aren't obligated. The two weeks notice is a professional courtesy. Edit. After reading Op's replies I can guess that he slash she is probably 16 and hasn't been in the workforce very long. Canadian here. Do you guys not have employment standards requiring employers to give notice when you are terminated? I worked construction, I thought I would give two week notice because I was there about a year and thought they would like the heads up. I was young and lived paycheck to paycheck the fucker let me go two days into my two weeks notice. I never slacked off and never would, I've never been fired from any job in my whole life. He taught me a good lesson that day, don't bother with two weeks notice unless you are under contract. I'm guessing this is a US centric view. Other western countries have good employee protection built into people's statutory rights. TBH, the higher up you go the more it's about connections. If you are min wage, I doubt you nor your employer really care. If you are at the director LVL, it's beneficial for both parties to give sufficient notice. I got fired and escorted out after I turned in a two weeks notice. I should argue that no one should be able to ghost the other side. Being terminated for no reason is bullshit, and just living because you felt like is also bullshit. At some jobs they literally just take you off the schedule. Power move when quitting, just go scratch yourself off the schedule. Have never had not giving notice affect getting another job. Also usually have another job lined up before quitting one which helps. I'm in KY a will to work state which basically means they can drop you without reason or cause and do not have to explain so yeah the irony of them asking for two weeks but shit canning people on the middle of an overnight shift at two in the morning, happened to a friend of mine I was there is very apparent to me. My biggest issue with companies are that they can manufacture and bullshit reasons to let you go and fire you. Do not sign anything they give you because it's them trying to start a paper trail on you to fuck you over and not give you unemployment on top of that. And the employer can still fire you, after the two week notice is submitted. I have seen co-workers let go the same day the two week notice was submitted by former co-worker. I know it's not guaranteed but there's a good chance you'll get severance pay. I can only assume this is an American thing. Bearing some work locations with a probation period abuse problem here UK, they're shitty and hated universally, generally call centers, sacking someone without reason would be grounds for unfair dismissal. You don't have to give two weeks notice there is no law or requirement to do so.
you just can't expect them to give you a referral when you try looking for a new job. This post sounds like a validation for being a shitty employee. Isn't this literally how right-to-work states laws go? I mean, there's nothing stopping an employer for giving a bad recommendation for quitting suddenly, but you're not legally on the hook for breaking contracts. Am I mistaken? It's recommend probably cause you still might need reference. But the worker rights in America are shit. Do you think a two-week notice is mandatory? Nothing is stopping you from walking into your boss's office and saying hey I'm out of here. It's just not a smart move to burn bridges and if it's a job in your professional field then there's a chance you'll encounter these same people again at some point and it's best to be on good terms. Let's say this out loud. And see how dumb it sounds. Ready. I better put my two weeks in, or else they'll fire me. Problem with giving employees notice that you want them gone is you don't know how they're going to react. They could sabotage your business over the two weeks, or even snap and decide to shoot the place up. It's a security thing that as soon as you're fired you lose access to the building. Sometimes layoffs are different, you get a heads up, but not always. Sucks, but a few bad apples ruin it for the rest of us. No, but it might make it harder to use that employer as a reference. The more jobs you can't use that way, the more it makes you look unattractive to hire. I don't understand your point. Employers who fire people without valid reasons get bad press, employees who leave without notice get bad press. It all seems to balance itself out. This is how right-to-work states operate to get past unions. Anyway, if you quit a job and don't give two weeks good luck on finding another. It also makes it so you can never work for that company ever again, even if you left on good terms. Some companies even have rules where if you don't give two weeks they'll pay you minimum wage for the last pay period you worked. I wish this stupid custom would just die. At will employment works both ways. You can be terminated at any time for any reason, and you are also free to simply walk out at any time, for any reason. This isn't an unpopular opinion, it's simply fact. This is called at will employment, they usually have you sign an agreement regarding exactly this. The two weeks notice is just a courtesy in case you'd like a positive reference from that employer in the future. That's correct, but it is courteous to give notice so that the employer has a chance to set the wheels in motion for selecting and slash or training your replacement. Presumably, your work is important and it will need to be done after you're gone. If they fire you for no good reason, then that's a dick move and not a great decision. If you walk out the door one day and never come back without telling anyone, that's also a dick move and not a great decision. I don't think you're required to. Just make getting a reference from them more difficult. I agree with the sentiment though, both parties should have the same expectations of each other. Fairness and competition are mutually exclusive. You can't have a winner without a loser, you can't succeed in business without taking a profit, you can't get out of bed in the morning without a reason. How does it make sense for a gazelle to eat a lion? Where do you live that employer's army required to give you notice? I've always treated as something of a courtesy. If you respected them, they treated you well, and you want to minimize disruption. Of course if you could care less, then just quit. Many people leave a job they like for different reasons. Usually two weeks gives the company ample time to adjust. Most employers can't terminate you without notice, or of they can they still need to pay for X amount of time. Although I am sure there are exceptions like if you stole from them or something. Or is this another US thing? That's not an opinion. It's the law. Neither party has any legal obligation whatsoever to give notice before ending employment. This used to be unequal because the employer would know if you were a quit without notice kind of employee but employees wouldn't know if an employer did right by departing employees. With job review sites, social media, ECT, that has greatly been democratized. Now, I can choose to not work for an employer who releases employees without proper severance and an employer can choose to to hire an employee who doesn't give proper notice. Seems pretty fair to me. Have you heard of something called severance pay? Most companies have to give it to you after they fire you, they can pay for months or even years of your unemployment. 
it's not like you're, usually, totally screwed when you get fired, whereas your employer will be screwed if you just disappear.